suggest to you, if you're in a home today, or if you're trying to make real estate decisions, one of your first one things might be to call a real estate agent in early. This is not a sales pitch. I've got very good logic about why I, I want you to consider doing this. Usually what I hear from people is, Lisa, I can't possibly have you over to my home because I have to clean it first. I've got 40 years worth of buckets of stuff around and I have to clear my home. And what I would tell you is I'm in 30 homes a week and as long as there's a path that I can walk through in your home, we're good. All I need is a path. So there's a reason that I'm going to encourage you to hire a real estate agent and at least get somebody in to talk with you early. Number one, how many of you watch HGTV? Are you familiar with this? I'm seeing hands. So HGTV is 24 hour a day programming and they talk about how to decorate your home and how to shop for your home. And it's a very romanticized version about what actually happens in the real world. And if you're thinking about moving, one of the tips I have for you is turn off HGTV and don't watch it again until after you move. <laughs> because it's just not real life. So when you work with a real estate agent, one of the things that we want to do is save you money. We don't want you to spend a lot of unnecessary money to get your home ready for the market if it doesn't mean you're going to get a return on that investment. When you watch HGTV, they're going to have all sorts of new shiny ideas to get your home ready, but if you use those ideas, I may not be able to list your home for any more. Let me give you an example. If you live in a home that was built in 1960 and you just remodeled your home in 1975, just yesterday, in 1975. And the cabinets, the appliances, all of those things work perfectly, but they're not new and shiny. If you have a real estate agent into your home and they tell you to remove the carpet and change the countertops in your bathroom, all the buyer will see is your 1975 kitchen. The buyer who's looking at your home does not have the benefit of seeing the before and after. The buyer only sees the projects that are left. They only see what you haven't done. So my theory, and it tends to be much different than other real estate agents who don't work just with seniors, is if you're not going to do everything, it may not make sense to do anything. So we don't want you to spend a bunch of money changing countertops and changing flooring if there's still other things in your home that need to be updated. Please don't let anybody tell you a bunch of things that you need to get your home ready for the market if it's not necessary. It's never been more true now than it is now in this seller's market. Any advice I give you today about how to get your home ready is good for about the next three months. If the market changes, my advice to you will change. Today we're in a very, very strong seller's market and you are in the driver's seat like never before if you've got a home to sell.